a gigantic trench has been discovered under the Antarctic ice. This is by University of Bristol on phys.org. A massive ancient subglacial trough deeper than the Grand Canyon has been discovered by a team of UK experts. The research involves scientists from Newcastle University, University of Bristol's Glaciology Centre, the British Antarctic Survey, and the Universities of Edinburgh of uh, Scotland, Exeter, and York. They charted the Ellsworth Subglacial Highlands. It's an ancient mountain range buried beneath several kilometers of Antarctic ice. And they did this by combining data from satellites and ice-penetrating radars towed, towed behind the skidoos and onboard small aircraft. The researchers spent three seasons investigating and mapping the region in West Antarctica. That's the region that has, as we understand, most of the melt in the ice sheet, and also it has most of the recently discovered volcanoes, even a new volcano, that they say could erupt. They don't know when uh, these volcanoes last erupted. It's very difficult for them to, uh, up to uh, now, find out what the activity has been with those volcanoes. I guess once they get more ice cores, once they get more seismic data, they'll have a better idea. Now, uncovering this uh, massive subglacial valley up to three kilometers deep, more than 300 kilometers long, up to 25 kilometers across. In places, the floor of this valley is more than 2,000 meters below sea level. The mountain range and deep valley were carved millions of years ago by a small ice field similar to those of the present-day Antarctic Peninsula or those of Arctic Canada and Alaska. Professor Martin Siegert, professor of geosciences at the University of Bristol, said, while the idea of West Antarctica ice sheet growth and decay over the past few million years has been discussed for decades, the precise location where the ice sheet may originate from in growth phases and decay back to in periods of decay has not been known. By looking at the topography beneath the ice sheet, using a combination of ice penetrating radio echo sounding and satellite imagery, we've revealed a region which possesses classic glacial geomorphic landforms such as U-shaped valleys and cirques that could only have been formed by a small ice cap, similar to those seen at present in the Canadian and Russian high Arctic. The region uncovered is therefore the site of ice sheet genesis in West Antarctica. The team's analysis has provided an unprecedented insight into the extent and thickness and behavior of this ancient ice field and the configuration behavior of the early West Antarctic ice sheet. The subglacial landscape shows where and how the West Antarctic ice sheet originated and grew. It also provides important clues about the size and shape of the ice sheet in West Antarctica in a warmer global climate. The findings are published in the latest edition of the Geological Society of American Bulletin. The paper's lead author, Dr. Neil Ross from Newcastle University said, the discovery of this huge trough and the characterization of the surrounding mountains, mountainous landscape was incredibly serendipitous, he said. And he added, we had acquired ice penetrating radar data from both ends of this huge hidden valley, but we had no information to tell us what was in between. Satellite data was used to fill the gap because despite being covered beneath several kilometers of ice, the valley is so vast that it can be seen from space. To me, this just goes to demonstrate how little we still know about the surface of our planet. The discovery and exploration of hidden previously unknown landscapes is still possible and incredibly exciting and even now. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.